This is another video in defense of D.M. Kenwright, a man who was a member of the Seventh Day Adventist organization for years, and when he realized how wrong they were, he left the organization. Once he left it, they began an attack campaign against Kenwright, trying to discredit the man, talking about him being demon possessed and had evil spirits in him and so forth. Just an outright attack against Kenwright uh, because he left their organization. In fact, they've even fabricated things about him. Uh, one is that he wanted to come back to the, he felt so bad he wanted to come back to the Seventh Day Adventist organization. I'm going to tell you about more about the case against Ken Wright, written by a man by the name of Norman Daughtry in a minute. But before I do that, let me read you something out of a book called The Case Against uh, Ken Wright, written by Norman Daughtry. And in here, and it says in here, in early March of 1916, Ken Wright goes to his lawyer. Now, he was 75 at this time, and he had heard all this stuff about him wanting to come back. In fact, he made a statement, they'll, they'll, they'll say to the day I die that I wanted to come back, when he never did want to come back. So he, know, he, he knows the, uh, how uh, dishonest the members of Seventh Day Adventist organization are, and, and they would go to any extremes to lie about someone. <clears throat> so he goes to a lawyer, has an affidavit drawn up in uh, March uh, of 1916 when he was 75 years old. In this affidavit from the state of Michigan County of uh, Kent, he makes these, uh, st these statements uh, under oath. I renounced Seventh-day Adventism in 1887 after 28 years experience in that church because I lost confidence in some of their chief doctrines also says, I never once regretted that I withdrew from the church. He goes on to say, I have never at any time, anywhere, or to any person even suggested that I wish to go back to that church, end quote. <coughs> That's an affidavit he signed in front of a lawyer at the age of 75 because he knew the dishonesty in the Seventh-day Adventist. He wanted to get that recorded in an affidavit where he never once ever regretted leaving the church and never wanted to go back. Now then, a man by the name of Franklin Dowdy wrote a book called The Case Against Ken Wright, or The Case Against D.M. Ken Wright. He wrote it in, in uh, 1964. The reason he wrote this book is just as important to me as the book itself. Something I don't think anybody has ever made a connection on is why he wrote this book. He lets people know in the introduction why he wrote the book. Uh, you see, in 1962, he wrote a book called Another Look at Seventh Day Adventist. And it stemmed from the debacles the Seventh Day Adventist had made in questions on doctrine. He thought they ought to be a cult. So he wrote a book in 62 called Another Look at Adventist, <coughs> Seventh Day Adventist. So later he writes a manuscript and he writes the Seventh Day Adventist conference. And one of their leaders there, and lets them know he has a manuscript and another a book about Adventist. But he never mentions Ken Wright's name. So they sent him a letter back uh, attacking Ken Wright. Like I say, he never mentions Ken Wright's name to them. They just start openly attacking uh, D.M. Ken Wright for no reason whatsoever. Uh, he, like I say, he didn't even mention Ken Wright's name. Now then, if you had written someone a letter and you hadn't mentioned someone's name, didn't even say anything about the man, and they wrote you back a letter just attacking this person whom you never said anything about, don't you think it would pique your interest as to why they would do this a little bit? Well, it did doubt he. It piqued his interest. Why are they attacking this man? I haven't said anything about him. Now, Norman Doughty was a Baptist minister who lived between 1899 and 1993 and is the author of several books, uh, and that's why he was writing this other book after after writing the one in 62. And he was just seeking some information and didn't say anything about Ken Wright, and all of a sudden, they come back and attack Ken Wright. When he had said nothing about him. It got him to thinking, why are they attacking this man for? Why say such awful things about a man when he had never even mentioned it? That caused him then to begin investigating the charges the Seventh-day Adventist had brought against Ken Wright. Now, if you want to read the book, you can find it online, and it's called A Case uh, 
against D.M. Kenwright, or uh, the case of D.M. Kenwright, that is, by Norman Dowdy, and it was written in 1964. You can find it online and read the book. Uh, I'll let you read that book, but I just want to mention one particular thing about the book. They say this, they have witnesses. They say Ken Wright wanted to come back. So this woman by the name of Carrie Johnson writes this book. I was Ken Wright's secretary. Read chapter 14 of Dowdy's book. He proves this woman was never Ken Wright's secretary. It was a fabrication by the Seventh-day Adventist organization, a lie and dishonesty from the Seventh-day Adventist organization. He proves beyond a doubt in chapter 14, called Ken Wright's secretary, that this woman was never his secretary. But yet, they know no honesty, and they will fabricate any lie they can to keep their religious cult headed by Satan going. Even to the point they will attack a man and try to destroy him. I found a quote the other day that to me fits seven dead minutes to a T. I don't know who made this quote, I just found it. <clears throat> it goes like this When a man or woman is honestly mistaken and hears the truth, they will either quit being mistaken or they will cease to be honest, end quote. Some of the Adventists choose the latter. When they hear the truth, they cease to be honest, and their dishonesty starts. These are the most dishonest, disrespectful people I've ever met in my entire life to try to discredit a man through their fabrications. Until next time, this has been God is saying, God bless.